Good morning and welcome to the Monday Daily Devotional Series. Uh, I'm glad you could join me. This is going to be a very brief and short devotional this morning, but I think you'll get uh, out of it what God intends us to get out of it. Um, I want to talk about the fact that Jesus Christ, the Lord God Almighty, has loved us from creation through redemption. Um, from the beginning of time, he has, uh, when he created us, he has loved us. He lo he's loved us all the way through, and he loved us through the cross. Um, I want to give you a couple verses this morning to encourage you um, that if you have not known the love of Jesus Christ in 2021 because you haven't put your trust and faith in him, I want to encourage you uh, to let you know that there is a Redeemer, uh, that there is a Savior, that there is the one and only that could possibly ever pay for your sins because of his sinless blood and what he did on the cross of Calvary. And I pray uh, for this time of year that you would make that decision as we come up on a new year in 2022. I'd lo love to see many of you that are not saved um, get saved in the beginning of 2022 so you can dedicate your life to serving God and finding his path for your life and his will for your life and know that there is a love out there that is above all. It's not a, a love of temperance. It's a love of eternity and it's a love of something that Jesus Christ loves us with his uh, with everything we you know he he did everything so that we could spend an eternity in heaven when he allowed Jesus Christ to go to the cross to be crucified to be buried but most importantly to be rose again because he's the only one worthy uh, of that uh, opportunity there are many ways that people tell you to get to heaven but the one and only true way to get to heaven is through Jesus Christ and his shed blood and your faith and trust in what he did on that cross. So for this morning, I just want to give you a few verses to let you know that whatever you're going through, whatever you're doing, whatever trials you have, whatever situation you're in the middle of, Jesus loves you and he wants to be the reconciler of your sadness and sorrow and bring that to uh, redemption uh, through his blood and through your trust in him and what he did um, so that you could spend an eternity with him and have him as your uh, God on high, have him as your King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You know, we're all created, but you have to find your way to, to the cross and you have to find your way through the cross to get eternity, to spend eternity. Why is that? Because God can't look upon sin and the way he pro provided for that is to allow his sinless blood to be shed on the cross of Calvary so that we can put our faith and trust in that. And we're still sinners, but we're covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. And amen, he is absolutely the only one capable uh, so let me read you these verses. I hope you have an incredible rest of your week. And just remember, this is your opportunity to go into 2022 and just put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Let him be the King of Kings and Lord of Lords and do everything necessary. If you want to, you can go to Matthew. We're going to be reading in chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Some familiar ver verses for some of you, for some not. Uh, but that's going to be... Uh, um, so Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30, and it says, Come unto me. We have to come to him. We have to come unto him if we want things to be the way they should be. Come unto me, and ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. True rest, true peace, true contentment only comes from the Heavenly Father. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Isn't that what we want is soul rest deep in our soul? Not just a day's rest, not just a moment's rest, not just a time's rest, but moments and rest into our soul. That's what we're looking for is to rest into our soul through Jesus Christ. And he's the only one that can give us that kind of rest. And finally, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. 
meaning that Jesus Christ is calling to us. He says, come unto me. I will take care of you. I will give you the rest you need. I will make it so that you have an eternity in heaven by what I did on the cross of Calvary. I will get you through the next moment. I will get you through the next month. I will get you through the next year. I will take care of you. Will it be exactly what you want? Maybe not, but it'll be through the one that's worthy. It'll be through the one that is absolutely able to give you exactly what you need. Don't trust yourself. Don't trust the situation around you. Trust Jesus Christ. I hope you have an incredible rest of your week, an incredible rest of your year, and I will see you next uh, year uh, on the next devotional. Have an incredible day. Bye-bye.